Well, the Emmaus boys volleyball team is on a roll as expected. Haven't lost a set yet. Now Bethlehem Catholic, they're one of those teams you never really know what they're going to put out. They've tested a lot of teams so far this season. Yeah. They're 500 entering last night, four and four, but they've taken some teams to the wire, some really close sets with some some of the top teams in the EPC. Emmaus, as you mentioned, unde undefeated at eight and zero, oh, coming off a pretty nice sweep of the Parkland Trojans, another force to be reckoned with in the volleyball community. While well, Erica Rose has the story on the matchup from last night. The Bethlehem Catholic boys volleyball team hoping to bounce back after being swept in their last two outings, but that will not be easy as they welcome in an undefeated Emmaus squad last night and they will find themselves down one game to start. They will keep it close in the second set, but never able to take the lead. And the Green Hornets able to clean things up after a slow start with an 8-0 run to make it 24-14. That's Owen Kennedy with one of his four blocks, 25-14 the score of the second set. And the Green Hornets will keep that going, opening the third set with an 11-2 run. Harrison Dottery with five service points, three of them aces. Here's Kennedy again, this time with the kill, 17-6 Emmaus. And Bethlehem Catholic can bring it within 10 a few times, but never get any closer. That's Matt Swanson with the kill. He will have a team-high seven, and the Green Hornets really clicking now. They will cruise 25-11, the final of set number three. I was a little disappointed to start with. Um, you know, I thought we came out with good energy against Parkland, not so much tonight. Uh, we did turn it around at the back end of it, so I guess that's you know all that matters at the end. And you know, Becca was really scrappy. They fought us hard. We started off slow, and um, we kind of we weren't showing like the whole EPC that we should. We're a team that should be feared. But I felt like in the third set, we really proved that and we uh, clicked on all cylinders. It wasn't just the starters who got the job done either. Head coach Ken Dunkel has a deep bench that he often looks to. It shows that we have really great depth. Uh, shows that we have a really uh, good, strong core uh, JV team as well. Um, it's also good knowing that later in the season we can pull them up and also have them get some experience later in districts, EPCs, and states as well. It was you know, a good opportunity today to get Nick in, let him get some reps. He played really well. I uh, got Noah some time on the right side as well. So you know, as we get deeper into states, we're going to hit spots where we run into trouble. Maybe somebody's not doing as well as they should. So to have somebody that I can plug in and take their spot until we get the other person readjusted is, is a big benefit. Well, it may only be midway through the season, but that does not mean the Green Hornets aren't thinking about states. In fact, they head to York this weekend for the Kohler Classic to help prepare them for the end of the year. We're actually in a very tough pool. Uh, we've got Northern Allegheny, Central York, Kempfield, and Pensbury. So it's all top 10 teams in the state. Um, so it's going to be a lot of good competition, and hopefully it'll show us what we're, we're going to be able to do in states if we get there and maybe what we need to work on so when we get there we're prepared. There's going to be a uh, tough competition there, um, top teams in the state that will probably play in the state um, tournament and I'm looking to see like how they are and um, what how good the competition is and looking to get better off that and build up there. Covering EPC Boys Volleyball, America Rose, Two Sports. So a tough night for the Golden Hawks, another big win for Emmaus now 9-0. And they will take on Deeriff and Easton over their next couple of matchups. But next Friday, a good one with Whitehall. Right now, they are 9-1. and one. So some, some tough matches still ahead for the Green Hornets. Absolutely. And we're going to speak of Emmaus still, but switch to lacrosse. Go back to lacrosse, rather, mm -hmm. as they